Last July, I was traveling with my husband to Frankfurt. We were at the airport, uh, JFK airport, and there was a man sitting nearby. And he did not stop staring at me in a suspicious way. And after I boarded the plane, the security came to me and took me out of the plane. And they inspected me and asked me questions. And then they allowed me to get back to my uh, trip. And when I was about to enter the plane again, the same guy who was looking at me started shouting and said, there's no way you are going to let her back in. She's dangerous. And that was one of the hardest moments in my life to face this humiliating and uh, being feared by someone for no reason but the way I look. So at that point, I felt so much hate inside me, and I'm not that person. When I felt the hate from another guy, I felt there's like more hate and I, maybe I want to hate him back. But then I decided to think about it in a different way. Maybe it's not hate that made him do this. Maybe it's that he doesn't know me. He doesn't have information about me. He never talked to a Muslim woman in his community before. So I decided instead of just keeping the cycle of hate and just playing the victim to do something about it. So through my work as a filmmaker, I did a PSA to spread awareness and to show the world who are Muslim women, which is just like a, a 90 seconds video that shows uh, Muslim women in their houses doing just their regular nor normal morning routine. And it just says, just like you. So what I took from that experience that I could have played the victim and just keep telling the story forever that they hate us, um, they are racist, <laughs> and people are afraid of me. But instead of that, I said, let's talk to, to each other. Let me tell you who I am. And then maybe the hate will stop and there will be more, more love.